All right, now I'm going to whoop a little M code on you today, all right? You ready for that? But first, I'm back from Excel Days 2018 in Bulgaria. Thanks to Boriana and Boris, their team, the speakers, and everybody who came out. There were 300 participants came out. It was such a wonderful experience. I got a chance to give a keynote presentation and I did a seven hour master's class. That was a lot of fun. And thank you to all of my participants who came to that on a Saturday, learning Excel and Power Query. And a huge thank you to Irina and George Sardareva. Man, they've got the coolest hat shop in Sofia, Bulgaria. And they were so warm and welcomed me into the store and we put this hat together, the three of us. That stands out as one of the most memorable experiences of the year. So I'm gonna let you know when Excel Days 2019 is announced. And that means get registered, get your travel arrangements, go get a hat from Irina Sarreva and show up to learn some Excel. Today we're dealing with something that Rahim Ali came up with Rahim Ali in Pakistan and here is the puzzle that he whooped on me how can we keep the initials of things so in this case we've got names we want to keep JW EQ JLR RSC we can do it like this we can do it with flash fill J W P R C okay flash fill is doing a perfect job for us but it's not dynamic so let's undo that and we're gonna use power query data from table slash range they're the names now here is how I'm gonna go about this in different steps I'm gonna add a column from example J W. Let's put in M A G. Is trying, but is not quite getting it. Look at the formula that's being built. Text dot remove names column, remove space, remove period, lowercase a e g etc. All right, I see what's happening here. So I am going to click OK and accept this. And I'm going to expand this so I can see the full formula. And I see text.remove. Then I went to look online to see what other functions are available. I looked for text.keep, but no, it's called text.select. Now I need to tell Power Query what to keep. Okay, and it's gotta be in double quotes. So I'm gonna put a capital A, that's in double quotes. Then I'm gonna delete all this stuff, all the way to that next curly bracket. Now I need to do dot dot, then capital Z in double quotes. See what happens. Ho! Oh, da! There it is. Got it. Now I can close and load this. File. Close and load to existing worksheet. I want to sit it right here. But now we have a twist. New names. Pay attention here. New names, refresh. We've got a problem. Erico's E did not show up. How are we going to handle this? Now, this all depends on context. And in this context, we've got this one person with the E with the accent mark. 
So that's the only new one that we need to account for. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to highlight the name, go up here, and I'm going to highlight the E, and then Control C. I'm copying it. Now I'm going to edit my query. Go over here, edit. Go to this step, comma, space, double quotes, control V to get that E with the accent, double quote, enter. Ho! Oh! Check that out. E, G, B is there. Close and load. We got it there's probably other fancy ways more sophisticated ways of handling this you can do those if you want to in this situation we've got one character to deal with and we got the problem solved our work is done a toast to success see you in the next video